All right, this video I'm going to show a uh, this is going to be a stash overview of kits I'm going to be doing on this channel. Uh, we'll start with the Tamiya kits. First, I've got the uh, 1943 production model T3476. It's a cheap kit. It's one of the early ones I bought. Um, so I've got, like I said, I'll do some of the cheaper ones first. I've got some better quality ones, but this will be uh, one of the builds. Next, I've got a Stug 4, a Stunger Ships 4. To me, uh, all these are be 135th scale. It's a uh, salt gun tank destroyer. Uh, German Tiger 1 mid production. I've actually got a couple of these I'll be doing. This is uh, the Tamiya one though. So German Panther D. And all these kits also uh, will have full, well 90% of them will have full model tracks, uh, metal gun barrels. The uh, Tamiya 135th scale uh, Nash Horn German uh, heavy tank destroyer. They don't put a whole lot on the Tamiya boxes as far as things on the what's on the inside of the box. Parts or things, just box art. Got an ISU 152. It says JSU, but uh, for uh, Joseph Stalin uh, design. In Russian, it's uh, Joseph Stalin, starting with an I. I've already built a IS-2 regular tank. Once I get around to getting some of these videos going, I'll actually show that one. It's a completed model. I've got a Hetzer also I've done. Panzer 3 in. This one here actually comes with uh, some photo etched parts and aluminum gun barrel. Show a little more of the box art. I'll probably do some box reviews on some of these too as I open them to do these. This is a late version uh, Yak Panther German tank destroyer. Jump over to the uh, trumpeter kits that I have on hand here. Got a uh, stir email. There were only, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, there were only two of these built. The only one is still in existence. It was a captured. It's a heavy tank destroyer. I've got uh, metal tracks and metal gun barrel for that as well. Got a trumpeter Soviet KS1 or KV1S, excuse me, heavy tank. Of course, if you're going to do some Soviet heavy armor, won't be complete without a KV-2 Russian heavy tank. Had a massive turret and a huge gun on this thing. Doing some research, and from what I was able to find, uh, they say Trumpeter made the best uh, KV tanks. So that's the that's the one I went with. And then just yesterday, I got this one here. Delivered here to the house. This uh, this is a Tacom King Tiger 135th scale. It comes with a full interior. This has the Henschel turret with the Zimmerit molded on. A little more on the box here than what comes on the Tamiya boxes and Trumpeter boxes. 
see it shows some of the sprues on the box and I'll do a, a box review when I get this thing open later individual videos on each of these it's a pretty massive box with a ton of parts in here that'll probably be the most time consuming build I do <clears throat> some of these dragging kits everywhere I can get to them got a Panzer IV H late production uh, also has the molded on Zimmerick Dragon, they always show quite a bit on their boxes. Huge part count, of course. And it comes with magic tracks. A lot of these will have magic tracks, but I'm probably, uh, I've never tried to build those. I, I may just skip and go with Frule models. I've already got the Frules ordered for probably 90% of what you're seeing here. I just like the, the metal tracks. Nothing looks more like metal and acts like metal than actual metal this is a late production Hummel uh, mobile artillery smart kit this one comes with the well this has magic tracks as well I've got a few with the DS tracks I'm gonna Probably put all those to the side. If anybody's ever interested, I may uh, just sell those off for a little, little or nothing, just to get rid of them. Because I'm not going to use the rubber band tracks on a decent kit. So Panzer Jaeger II or Martyr II, early production German tank destroyer. Here's another one I received just yesterday. It's a Dragon uh, Panzer III off G. This is one of the ones I believe has the uh, rubber band DS tracks, or whatever they call them. Showing the ones from yesterday. Uh, there's another video will be up showing the unboxing from yesterday. But Stoke 3 off G with the uh, concrete armor, also with molded on Zimmerick. Just a unique design. Sorry for the camera reflection, I just noticed it in the plastic there. See the parts and all here. I'm a fan of Stugs, so what? Just throw stuff around. Got a Stug 3G uh, early production. I'm also planning on getting another one of the Dragon kits, the Stug 3. Um, that has the molded on Zimmer as well. It's not the. It's similar to the concrete Stug. But these that had the waffle pattern zimmered on them, it's just it's hard to, I'm not really sure how to reproduce that without taking several days to get it done. It's not like the regular zimmer. <clears throat> so the German Jagdpanzer IV with the L70 gun, also uh, molded on zimmer. Now, a lot of people are against the molded on Zimmer because they say it, it, some of them can have fit issues or sometimes it won't be perfect in scale or you can't reproduce chipping and stuff on it. I think if you just do a little sand in here or a little fill, you can, you can reproduce the chipping without much effort. As far as fit issues, that's, you know, putty, files, I've got all that stuff, take care of that. There, maybe you can see the shows the Zimmer pattern on the front. Well, 
reflection's bad. But, uh, really detailed kits here. So I'm gonna do some box reviews when I open these things up. I'll do them individually, one, one kit at a time. Probably right before I start building it. And with my job, I don't have a whole lot of time to build, so this is probably all gonna be over a couple of years. Uh, T3476 Dragon, a Soviet tank. The plan is also to get a T3485 as well. I like the look of it a lot better, but this, uh, there were so many of these built during the war. You're not going to build any World War II stuff without having the, t the early T-34 represented. And you'll notice primarily what I've got here are German and Soviet tanks. And that's, that's what I like. They had the widest variety of stuff, but I will acquire a few Shermans later on. Maybe an M3 lead, but Dragon uh, Jag Tiger. This one comes with the L66 gun, which I don't think was ever actually mounted on one, so I probably, I'm not sure if I use that or not. May order a aluminum turn barrel. Interesting, nothing on the back of this box. Actually, I believe this kit comes with both barrels. Um, I'll look at the condition. Let's see, I think it does come with two. At the pack 80 L66. I think it comes with the 88 also. That's what they mounted on these. Has metal tow cables with this one. Magic tracks. A few photo etch parts. And I'm a big fan of the tank destroyer. So, as you notice with all the stugs and stuff. So, here's the elephant. I'll probably do a Ferdinand version as well. But this one has molded on Zimmerit. These pretty much debuted at the Battle of Kursk on the Eastern Front. As the Ferdinand with, didn't have the machine gun here. So that was a, a disaster for the Germans. So they took it back in, uh, redesigned the Commander's Coppola and added a machine gun to it and it was renamed the Elephant. All this at a time where Germany was pretty much running low on fuel and everything. They couldn't keep these things going. They were breaking down slow. Now this one already comes with a, a turned aluminum gun barrel, so I didn't uh, order an extra one for that. Metal tow cables, that's nice. I'm not a fan of the Tamiya string tow cables. This is the SD KFZ 251 uh, half track. It's, uh, it's the version called the drilling because of the way these uh, guns are set up. It's for anti aircraft use. Hmm, a couple of these don't have anything on the back. See the gun assembly and all. And my other half track. This has an AT gun on it. I'll probably acquire another one of these at some point. Uh, just a standard troop carrier with the MG42s and things on it. And another. Tank destroyer, this is a Martyr 3, Panzer Jager 38. Um, based on the Czechoslovakian lower chassis from the 38T uh, uh, Czech tanks they were capturing. These were real cheap to build. They were just basically take the chassis and just slap a small uh, anti tank gun with a shield on it and send it out.
This one has a canvas cover. I'm, I'm not going to use that though. Detail of the parts on the back here. This uh, part here is preformed, so I'm not open the box, but it's uh, from reviews I looked at earlier, it's preformed in that shape already. Here's the other Tiger One I have. It's a mid production with uh, molded on Zemmert. I'm also going to get possibly the late version with molded on Zemmert as well. Read a lot of good reviews on this. Except the DS tracks, but like I said, they're going to be replaced. I've got a aluminum gun barrel for this too. So I have all these extra plastic gun barrels left over. I'm a fan of kit bashing, so I may make a few random creations with a lot of these spare parts. I don't know what a lot of guys do with their spares, but I plan to use mine somehow or other. And this is the last piece of armor I have in my stash at the moment. So. Flak Panzer IV Verbal Vend. Basically just a anti-aircraft gun mounted on a Panzer IV lower, lower chassis. And that's it for the armor kits. Um, I've got a handful of cars I'll show here. <clears throat> These are actually all going to be for post-apocalyptic car builds. I've always been a Mad Max fan. So I'll just briefly show these. Got a monogram skill 257 Chevy hardtop. Which will look absolutely nothing like that once I get done with it. 71 uh, Plymouth Hemicuda, Skill 2. I bought these earlier on Skill 2. I prefer a Skill 4, but you know, it's a good muscle car. I'm going to kit bash it anyway, so it won't matter. 66 Shelby Mustang. This thing here. Um, I bought specifically for the back tires and the motors. It has uh, three large motors on it. That's the only reason I bought this. It's just a parts kit. That's all it is. I'm not going to build it like that. And the same thing with this. Bought specifically for the tires, the motor, and the exhaust. This will probably end up being like a buggy or something. I'll take some styrene and maybe make like a some type of a doom buggy or something out of it. <clears throat> if you've seen the Mad Max Fury Road, this is supposed to be. Uh, I'm gonna make something very similar to to Nux's car from this kit. The little Vicky. probably put one of the huge motors in that thing and this I've actually got two of these the exact same thing picked these up at Hobby Lobby they were on clearance $11 originally $30 I bought two basically just called I wanted the big motor um, I'll, this is uh, for parts I'll probably use the tires and a few other things off of it but primarily I just wanted the motor And a tow truck. A lot of potential here for a post apocalyptic build. Pretty common kit you see in stores. And here's the last one it's a 78 Ford truck. 
If you've seen uh, Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior, I'm going to make something similar to that truck they had with the top. The top was off and they had the like a three barrel, uh, I don't know what it was. It's like a pneumatic thing that shot arrows. I'm not going to make that particular thing, but I will cut the top off of this and make some type of a weapon system in the back. At least that's my initial thoughts on this. Well, that's it for the stash. Um, that's all I've got on hand at the moment. If I order anything else, I usually order a couple things every other every few weeks, like many of you do. Um, I'll get around to building them all eventually. But uh, I'll do more unboxings if I get some other things, and I'm going to try to work on these. I only get a few hours a week where I can actually put into this. So, Well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, and I'll try to get some more stuff up shortly.